Hey there guys, it's Tori with Sword Guy Builds, and tonight I'm going to get you started on learning some flat braids for your whips, or whatever I suppose. I certainly wish that I was better at stuff. Okay friends, so uh, let's see, I'm going to try to show a three part, four part, five part, and six part flat braid. Um, some of you may have even seen my original video on this and know that it was a steaming pile of garbage. Uh, this one hopefully will be a little bit better. Anyway, let us start with the thing. So we're going to start with three-part flat braids. So this is super simple. Uh, a lot of people know this just as like a, like a hair braid, right? So you got your three strands and you're just going to take one from the outside, put it in the middle. Then you're going to take one from the other side and put it in the middle. And the first side, and that's that's all it is. I'm just going to, let me see if I can get closer. So, that's all you're going to be doing Thanks. for a three-part flat braid. Is just bringing each one. Sorry, I was trying to figure out how to set this all up and clearly I didn't do a good job but that's okay so that's that's basically all it is um, the way I do all, all of this um, is pull it tight then put it pull it tight then put it right uh, even you know when I'm plaiting on my on my whips or, or whatever it's it's always the same pull it tight then then you do your plat so now we're gonna start our four-part braid we're going to start this one with like a, a, a preliminary step where with the three part, we just sort of go right into it with the four part. And, and I guess probably all, all the rest of them, we're going to do a preliminary move. And that is this, we're going to cross the two in the middle. Okay. And that'll, uh, make it so that we have a sharp line where the, the pattern ends, you know, uh, maybe later on, if I do a stock whip video, I'll, uh, I'll show you why you want to set it up this way and not uh, just like go straight into the operation from here. But for now, uh, don't worry about it. Just just make sure that if you are doing this, it'll it'll help you. I think if you if you cross these middle two first. Not that you asked for my life story. So we're gonna start by taking the right two and put right over left. Okay. And then we're going to take the left two and put right over left. Okay. And then these two in the middle to complete this move, we're going to cross those, but those two are going to cross left over right. Okay. Snug that up. So we're going to do it again, right over left with the right two, right over left with the left two left over right with the middle two. Uh, you can also think about it like this. The one at the far right goes over one, and then the one at the far left goes under one over one. Okay, either way it's it's exactly the same move, but um, I, I just find that uh, how I think about the braid sort of affects how well I can do it, you know? but. But that is, that is really it. Under, over, pull it tight. Okay. And that is, that is the whole thing. That's the whole thing. And you can even see we're getting like a nifty looking little pattern there, you know? And that's one of the fun things about, about the flat braids is just, just seeing the different patterns that you can get doing that as opposed to doing, um, you know, round braids or, or whatever. So let's go into a five part. And this one too, we're going to start, uh, honestly, like a, uh, as if it were a three part. So starting close to the middle, we're going to take one and put it into the middle. Okay. And then we're going to take another one and put it in the middle. Okay, I'm going to show that again because I feel like I confused myself. So these three, right? Motion one, 
motion two. And that's all. Now, up here you can see we've already got our like under one over one going. So we can take this one, under one, over one. And now it's uh, uneven, skewing toward the right. So we're gonna take that one, under one, over one. And this is our entire pattern, super simple. Under one, over one, tight, under one, over one, tight, under one, over one. My hands are super sloppy. Pull it tight, under one, over one. And that's a five part uh, flat braid. There are actually a couple different patterns I think you can do uh, with this. For example, let's, uh, instead of an under one, over one, let's try an under two, over two. Uh, let's see. So let's go like that. Pretty interesting. Cool stuff. Uh, it's it's just if you if you have the ability to uh, to understand the different things that you can do with each count, you know, it just it just opens you up for other things. Like uh, I've done this sort of uh, braid on keepers of like bullock whips with uh, with high plat counts just because it keeps this um this braid a little bit more narrow right uh it just it's a different different sort of thing sort of handy you know uh but you don't have to do it one way or the other it's just something to do something to, to keep it interesting okay so now we're going to do our six part flat braid uh and this one is going to start uh just just the same right I mean it's it's uh, when when we get into the higher numbers like this it's more intuitive to me just because it's it, it feels more like a um, like a round braid you know like you're like you're plaiting on the thong of a whip so just looking at this I know that we can go across them like that and then this one would go under and this one would go over right and then like we're already looking at a checkerboard here so to make it into a diamond pattern, we just need to go uh, alternating under over, right? Uh, doing the opposite of what the uh, of what the last strand did, and then we have already a very nice uh, checkerboard thing. Okay, so let's see. You don't have to start it this way. Like it, it'll it'll make a bunch of sense when you when you actually do it. Uh, maybe a couple times, you know, but but the the actual sequence for the plat is just this: pull tight, over, under. Pull tight, under, over, under. Tight, over, under. Tight, under, over, under. So, something that I kind of want to show, just as a concept, is that um, depending on how we, depending on how many passes we make, and the orientation of our of the cord in our hands, you know, uh, we can achieve different patterns. If we like, if for example we were making the keeper of a stock whip. Uh, we we could we could get different patterns when we transition into the into the thong, uh, depending on how how we finish the uh, how many passes we do for the flat braid that that would become the keeper you know, uh, so you see here we've got blue on the left and gray on the right, but in my hands I've got gray on the left and blue in the right, okay. So let me see if I can um, pull this out and sort of drop my stuff. I meant to do that. So the way that we would turn this into a round braid, I'm just going to show it real quick. This will be a different 
uh, tutorial if I if I decide to um, <laughs> to ever do that I, I probably will uh, but you can see that we started there we go uh, we started with the with the reverse right we, we had blue and gray and then on our hands we had gray and blue and now that we've turned this into a, a, a round braid like like we could uh, hook this over something and and just just keep keep plaiting this right and it would, it would turn into a round braid but we can see that we're, we're in a striped pattern you know we've got all gray on the left all blue on the right and that would turn into a striped pattern you know uh, but if we were to do more passes uh, and take it back to how it started, blue on the left and, uh, and gray on the right, then if we were to cross it, detach this again, Then if we were to if we were to set up that braid again, you can see that we would have blue going both directions and gray going both directions, and that would just put us into a chevron pattern, right? Uh, so it's it's very um eh, I, I guess you could say liberating, uh, just just sort of sort of interesting really something to keep in mind. Anyway, uh, hopefully that did not drive you totally up the wall and um, thanks for watching so this has been another very terrible tutorial by yours truly I hope that if it did not make you want to tear your hair out that you'll think about liking and subscribing that would be super cool appreciate you very much I will hope to see you on the next one